On this machine with Fanoge 16 TV CNC, we're gonna see how to protect a part program in case you have any that is confidential and you don't want the people to see the program, not even uh, print or save into a USB or any other device. Um, or punch the program out of the CNC. So what you have to do, let's go first to the program that I have. I'm gonna protect, um, there is a parameter to protect programs with a name that start with that 9000 through the 9999. So I have an example here, it's a macro that is a speed override threading macro. So I wanna protect this file and what I have to do is to modify a parameter. So I'm gonna write enable the parameter. <coughs> I have to change to MDI, sorry. And set to one that parameter. So now we have the alarm 100. And in system, I'm gonna change the any nine parameter, which is the number four of uh, the, the bit number four of the 3202. So I'm gonna set that parameter in on. Okay, and now, if I set a password here, uh, what I'm gonna do is to protect modifying these parameters. So this one will allow you to protect programs on the range of 8,000 to 8,999. Uh, so let's set a password. One, two, three, four, for example, input. So you see, now we don't see the value of that parameter. And this is the, <coughs> the keyword uh, that it will allow me to chain back the, sorry, the, parameter either NE9 and I don't remember if it's gonna allow me to change also the NE8 so anyway so let's go back to program and you see now I cannot see the program let's check the library the problem is there I have two programs 9011 and 9010 and let me try to open that. I'm gonna open the 0990 search. Okay. Inputs. Oh, okay, I have to delete first the parameter. I have to change back to MDI, set off the parameter. Reset the alarm, go back to program, uh, look for 0999.99. After edit, 0.9.99. Oh, search, there you go. So let's go back to the library and let's check 0.9010. Oh, search. And I'm not able to do that. Let's check uh, 0139. 0139. Search, you see, I'm able to do it. So, in this case, let's go back 0911. Search, and not. Um, Let's try to punch the 099-00999. Punch, execute, and it's executing, you see. And let's go back to the library and let's try to punch the protected file or program. ID 10 punch, execute, and he said we don't have the data.
actually the data is there or the program is there but um, it is protected now okay so let's go to unprotect I had to redo this the step uh, back as it was before so we need to enable the program the parameter right in MDI mode inputs I'm gonna reset the alarm let's go back to system and if you if I want to change this one to off you see even though that I set the parameter uh, right enable even though that it doesn't allow me to modify this bit let me try input again so what I have to do is to enter the password here one two three four input you are not gonna see the password and I'm gonna go back to the parameter and set it off and there you go okay so if I wanna delete the password I just have to enter because I already set the um, keyword 3211 uh, it will allow it should allow me to reset or delete the password and I should see zero here as it was before meaning that it hasn't any more uh, passwords you see? okay let's go to offset let's set this in zero and reset and that's it okay thank you